In this corner, we have the Behringer B2 Pro, a large diaphragm condenser microphone. And in this corner, we have a Behringer C2, a small diaphragm condenser. How do these sound on voice for a podcast or for voiceovers or YouTube videos? That's what we're going to test in this video. So let's go ahead and start the mic war. Here we are in Pro Tools for the mic war between the C2 and the B2 Pro. Small diaphragm versus large diaphragm. But before we start, we have to look at the samples so you know what's going on here. We have raw samples, and then we have processed samples. All of the processed samples are processed with isotope Nectar 2 because Nectar 2 has, of course, an EQ, a gate, a de -esser, compressor, a limiter, all of those good tools that you will use, of course, to produce your voice sound. The raw samples, you will notice, do have clip gain applied to them to adjust the volume higher because it would be sort of alarming to have this at the level it's actually recorded at, such as this. Inches away from the Behringer. And then listen to a process sample. Diaphragm condenser microphone, which obviously is going to be much, much louder. So the volume is raised on the raw samples, but there's no processing at all. So now that you know what is going on, we also have some air conditioner samples right here, which is pretty cool. Now that you know what's going on, let's go ahead and start this mic war between the small diaphragm Behringer C2 and the large diaphragm Behringer B2 Pro. Behringer C2 small diaphragm condenser microphone from around six inches away. Six inches away from the Behringer C2. The Behringer B2 Pro from around six inches away a large diaphragm microphone listen to the sound of the voice the quality of the voice is this the sound of voice you would like for your voiceovers for your youtube videos for your narration or for your podcast again from around six inches away from this large diaphragm condenser microphone the behringer c2 small diaphragm condenser microphone from around six inches away six inches away from the Behringer C2. The Behringer B2 Pro from around six inches away, a large diaphragm microphone. Listen to the sound of the voice, the quality of the voice. Is this the sound of voice you would like for your voiceovers, for your YouTube videos, for your narration, or for your podcast? Again, from around six inches away from this large diaphragm condenser microphone. The Behringer C2 small diaphragm microphone, this time around three inches away with an air conditioner on in the background, just to get an idea of how sensitive this microphone is to things going on in your environment. And I'll also start typing on a keyboard here, again, just to get an idea of what will be picked up whenever you use this uh, small diaphragm microphone. The Behringer B2 Pro, this time around three to four inches away, but we have an air conditioner on in the background to get an idea of sound that might be picked up in a room. And we're also typing on a keyboard to hear the background noise with the voice. Get an idea of how a large diaphragm condenser is very sensitive to its surroundings. The Behringer B2 Pro large diaphragm condenser microphone. The Behringer C2 small diaphragm microphone, this time around three inches away with an air conditioner on in the background just to get an idea of how sensitive this microphone is to things going on in your environment. And I'll also start typing on a keyboard here. Again, just to get an idea of what will be picked up whenever you use this uh, small diaphragm microphone. The Behringer B2 Pro, this time around three to four inches away, but we have an air conditioner on in the background to get an idea of sound that might be picked up in a room. And we're also typing on a keyboard to hear the background noise with the voice. Get an idea of how a large diaphragm condenser is very sensitive to its surroundings. The Behringer B2 Pro large diaphragm condenser microphone. The Behringer C2 small diaphragm condenser microphone, this time from around 
two to three, maybe four inches away from this small diaphragm microphone. Listen to the sound of the voice. Is this the sort of sound you want for your YouTube video, for your podcast? You can even get up a little bit closer on this microphone and try to take advantage of a proximity effect, which you notice even at around one inch away now. The proximity effect is not nearly as pronounced as a large diaphragm. This may be good, this may be bad, but again, this is the Behringer C2 small diaphragm condenser microphone. The Behringer B2 Pro, this time from around two to three inches away from this large diaphragm condenser microphone, you can definitely start hearing this microphone open up as you start to get closer, like we are two to three inches away. I can even come even closer to this microphone, get around one inch away, and it really opens up. You can take advantage of that proximity effect, get that enhanced low end, and basically get that sort of radio voice very easily once you really start to get closer to a large diaphragm microphone like the Behringer B2 Pro. Again, the Behringer B2 Pro, a large diaphragm condenser microphone. The Behringer C2 small diaphragm condenser microphone, this time from around two to three, maybe four inches away from this small diaphragm microphone. Listen to the sound of the voice. Is this the sort of sound you want for your YouTube video, for your podcast? You can even get up a little bit closer on this microphone and try to take advantage of a proximity effect, which you notice even at around one inch away now. The proximity effect is not nearly as pronounced as a large diaphragm. This may be good, this may be bad, but again, this is the Behringer C2 small diaphragm condenser microphone. The Behringer B2 Pro, this time from around two to three inches away from this large diaphragm condenser microphone, you can definitely start hearing this microphone open up as you start to get closer, like we are two to three inches away. I can even come even closer to this microphone, get around one inch away, and it really opens up. You can take advantage of that proximity effect, get that enhanced low end, and basically get that sort of radio voice very easily once you really start to get closer to a large diaphragm microphone like the Behringer B2 Pro. Again, the Behringer B2 Pro, a large diaphragm condenser microphone. And there we have it, a small diaphragm microphone versus a large diaphragm microphone. Which one sounded better for voice, for your podcast, for your YouTube videos, for your narration, so on and so forth. Small diaphragm versus large diaphragm. You heard it here. Raw samples, process samples, different distances. What else do you need? Man, nothing at all. So leave your comment below. Which of these microphones, these classic style of microphones, small diaphragm, large diaphragm, which one won? The mic war.